Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Bailey Dukeman, also known as Body Fit Balance on Instagram. I would love if you hit the subscribe button down below to join our little fit fam that we have going on and so you never miss a video with me. Today is Vlogmas Day 13. 13? I don't know which way. <laughs> Today I will be discussing things that I wish I would have known before I started my fitness journey. This topic has been kind of brewing in my head for a long time, just trying to find like the right things to say and all the things that I wish I would have known before I started my fitness journey is kind of hard because there's a lot of them, but I figured that if I could think of these things and tell them to you guys, this could prevent you from making the same mistakes that I made. I really hope this helps you and I hope it also helps you start your fitness journey. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay. So the number one thing that I wish I would have known before I started my fit fitness journey is that you don't have to compete to be fit. When I started my fitness journey, I had just gotten done with collegiate volleyball and I really wanted to be a bodybuilder. I saw a bunch of Instagram posts and everything looking at these girls, they're lean, they have abs, they look perfect. And I was like, oh my gosh, I want to look like that. I want to just be her. Like, I want to be her. And I wanted to be lean because of that. And that was a totally, totally messed up mindset because I didn't have to compete or feel the need to compete just because I wanted to look like someone. And you shouldn't want to look like someone either. You should want to be the best version of you because everyone's body is different. I'm never going to look like another girl that I see on Instagram. I'm my own person. And you should just want to better yourself, not look like someone else. Well, because they've busted their butt to look like that. Or some of them have amazing genetics. And to be honest, like you're never going to look like that. Like You're never going to look just like another person. You're your own person and you're going to look completely different, lean or whatever, than another person is lean. So you need to have like realistic expectations for yourself and not just say, I want to get fit because I want to compete. You should set up other goals if you do want to compete just because when you do fall short of not competing, then you're just kind of like, oh, well, what's next? So then you kind of go down a downward spiral. You do not need to compete to be fit. You can get fit for just healthy lifestyle reasons. Number two, you do not have to restrict yourself and eat just low carb meals to lose weight. You can eat carbs. Carbs are not bad. Carbs are not the enemy. I kind of thought that when, once I started my fitness journey, I thought, okay, I need to eat low carbs, I need to just eat vegetables and chicken. Yeah, I might have lost weight a little bit fast, but I gained it all back because it wasn't realistic. I wanted carbs, my body needs carbs for energy, and it's so restrictive. When you restrict yourself of carbs and other like little treats here and there, you just get literally crazy. So in order to stay sane and to live a healthy lifestyle full of balance, which I preach, you need to not restrict yourself. Low carb diets, yeah, you will lose weight really fast, but the minute you try to eat carbs again, your body's gonna blow up like a balloon. So I highly recommend eating a balanced diet full of healthy fats, veggies, protein, and carbs. Do not restrict yourself and put yourself through these low carb diets that every fitness model does just to lose weight. There are many other healthy options to lose weight than restricting yourself of food or restricting yourself of carbs or putting yourself through a low carb diet when it's not fun and it sucks. You can eat a variety of healthy foods that are fun to eat without restricting yourself and then putting yourself through a low carb diet. Because low carb, who wants to be low carb? Not me. I don't want to be low carb. I love carbs. I don't know who doesn't love carbs. Carbs are literally the best thing ever. I enjoy eating them, I'm assuming you do too, so you can lose weight and eat carbs. To go hand in hand with the whole, you can eat healthy without eating low carbs, I am doing an eight week challenge right now. People are signing up for it right now. They have until kind of the end of December to join. It has a bunch of variety of food choices, workouts, all that kind of stuff, and it, none of it's low carb. You get carbs. You get to eat carbs and people have seen amazing results through it. One of my clients has lost 30 pounds the last challenge I did. So you should really sign up for it. 
It's great. It has tons of healthy options for food and none of them are low carb. Number three, and that is motivation will come and it will go. You cannot expect to just be motivated all the time, every day, every single minute of the day, 24 seven, you're motivated. That will not happen. I'm not even motivated all the time. Freaking Arnold Schwarzenegger was probably not motivated all the time. Every Instagram fitnessy person is probably not motivated all the time. There will be days where you're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get a double workout in today. And then there'll be days that I don't even wanna move out of my bed. You need to find motivation and create it for yourself. So on the days that I feel like I don't wanna move, I don't wanna go to the gym, I don't wanna eat healthy, I don't wanna drink my water, like I just don't wanna do anything, I just wanna lay in bed and sleep. I just think about like, okay, I'll feel better when I get a workout in. I'll feel better when I drink my water. I'll feel better when I eat healthy. Like, I'm doing it for my health, not just my physique, not just because I want to show it off on Instagram, none of that. I do it because it makes me feel good. So at the end of the day, I just, I'm motivated because I enjoy it. It's a passion to me, and it makes me feel good. And it also helps when you form habits. So when you form healthy habits of, going to the gym three, four times a week, or drinking a glass of water before every meal, or having two to three servings of veggies in your meals, etc., etc. It just helps when you form habits, so then you're motivated to just do those habits continually. So just know that some days will be easier than others. Some days you won't want to get out of bed, but others you'll be super motivated and you want to just get it done. Remember why you started. Remember why you wanted to make a lifestyle change. Look back on the pictures where you're overweight or you're unhappy and just think, okay, like, holy crap, I need to go to the gym right now. Like, I need to motivate myself, you know? Like, those, those things should motivate you to just want to go out there and want to better yourself. On the days that you don't feel motivated, you kind of have to be disciplined and just say, you know, like, I'm going to feel better when I do this. I just need to get it done. And, like, if you just wake up and you just do it, You'll feel so much better and be so glad you did it. So some days you just need to be disciplined. It's not always easy and some days you're not going to do it, but just know that motivation is not always there. And some days you have to really dig deep to find it, but I promise you that once you dig deep and you just do it, you'll feel so much better. Okay, so this is another big one and this is number four, I think. I don't know, I suck at counting. It is, it's okay to mess up. So many people get so into their heads when they mess up. They think it's the end of the world. They start restricting themselves of food. They starve their, themselves after a binge or they overexercise after they overeat. That's not okay because then you're just forming unhealthy habits that will just keep spiraling and building up. If you just realize that it's okay to mess up, it's okay to miss a workout sometimes. It's okay to maybe eat a bag of Skittles. You have to stay sane, you know? It's just when you constantly mess up and you constantly forgive yourself for it, that's when you're gonna start struggling. Not everyone's perfect. You're gonna mess up. You're gonna make mistakes. Your fitness journey isn't a set, there's not a set and end point. Like, there, it's not a straight line. There's gonna be highs and there's gonna be lows. But you have to just find that balance, be humble during the highs, and just stay positive during the lows because everyone has mess ups, everybody makes mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. Just kidding. Okay, and you just need to realize that it's okay to mess up. You just need to stay positive with yourself and just like move forward. Forget about it, put it behind. If you just binged, put it behind you, go back to eating healthy the next day, and learn from it. Learn from like journal and write down if it, how it makes you feel when you did that and maybe that'll make you like go back to that and realize that okay I felt like crap after that binge. I need to learn that that doesn't make me feel good when I binge and it's hard to learn that but to just journal it and write down how you feel during those times because sometimes you're just so consumed with like what you're eating and you just want to like eat as much as you can and then at the end you're just like what did I just do you know so if you just realize that it's okay to mess up sometimes then that'll be so much better and you won't have to go through those unhealthy cycles if you ever need someone to talk to after you mess up or if you need any words of encouragement I'm your girl just shoot me a message shoot me a DM shoot me an email and I will help you out no matter what no matter what time it is I would love to help you out because I know everyone goes through it and it's hard. Sometimes it's really hard to realize that it's okay to mess up.
but I'm here to tell you that it's okay and everybody does it. Number five is find what works for you. Not everyone is going to see the same results doing the same type of training and the same type of diet. You need to find what works best for you and what's going to be fun to you. So if you don't like running, don't sit on a treadmill and run two miles just to lose weight because you're going to be unhappy and you're going to just hate your life and you're not going to want to work out. You're not gonna ever look forward to working out. If you find like a workout that works best for you and you enjoy going to it and you enjoy doing it and you look forward to it sometimes, then that's what's gonna work best for you. So I like to lift weights, I like to power lift, and I like to do steady state incline walk or some sprints or something like that. What works for me might not work for you. You might hate lifting. You just need to find like what style of training you like doing and then you'll see much better results because you'll actually stick to it. So you can do like yoga, you can do kickboxing or boxing, spin classes or Zumba workouts or Olympic weightlifting or bodybuilding. Like there's so many or CrossFit. There's so many types of things that you can do and it doesn't just limit to lifting weights or doing cardio. So find a type of training that you like to do. Stick with it because that's going to that's going to be the best thing for results and success to just sticking with the type of training that you look forward to doing. At the end of the day, everyone's different and you need to find what works best for you and not anyone else. Number six is being skinny does not equate to happiness. This is huge because when I started my fitness journey, I thought, okay, if I get to down to 130 or 125, whatever, that I'll be happy. I will be so happy, I'll be so skinny, I'll be just happy and skinny and la 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 la. No, no, no. That's not how it works because then you're just gonna wanna get skinnier and skinnier, 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 and then it's just gonna get so unhealthy. You don't wanna do that. You just can't base your happiness off of a number on the scale, okay? Don't base your happiness on a number on the scale. Don't do it. And it's so unhealthy and you just don't want to live your life like that. You don't want to be all consumed in all these numbers that don't mean anything. The scale, the number on the scale means nothing. You can work your butt off to be 130 pounds, whatever, but I'm telling you that will not make you happy. I kept just wanting it to be lower and lower. I was never happy with my goal weight. I just wanted to keep getting smaller. When I realized I was like 128 pounds at the end of my prep when I got hurt, I reflected on the number on the scale and how happy I was and they did not equate. I was not happy at all. Even though I was, I surpassed my goal, I was not happy. So don't let your happiness be defined by the number that you see on the scale. Have it be small victories like fitting in a pair of jeans that you haven't in two years or being able to run a mile in a treadmill without stopping or being able to squat 100 pounds or being able to bench the bar. Little goals like that instead of it having to be weight related because so many people transform their bodies and the scale doesn't even move. The scale is stupid, okay? So you can lose fat and you can gain muscle and the scale will stay the same. That's why I tell people not to focus on the number on the scale because it's crap. The number on the scale does not equal happiness. That's all I have to say. This is number seven and this kind of goes along with the whole don't restrict yourself thing and it's balance. Learn to balance everything. Don't be so set in getting all of your workouts in and like you don't have any social life. Have balance. Don't be afraid to go out to dinner with your friends and family and get a burger to eat or get froyo with your friends. You can still do those things and achieve great results. I do like an 80-20 rule so I eat clean, healthy, nutrient dense meals 80% of the time and then I treat myself 20% of the time. So I'll go out to d dinner with my family or I'll get Froyo with Zach and Ashley. I'll do little things like that and it just helps me stay sane and it's just, it's also sometimes good for your metabolism to just get a little spike in cal sometimes when you're like eating healthy the whole week and then at the weekend you spike it up a little bit. It's just nice to not have to say no, I can't do this because I'm prepping. I can't go and get a cheeseburger because I have to eat chicken and broccoli. Like, it's just not fun, and I've been there, I've done that. Like, I've turned down invitations with friends to go get dinner or frozen yogurt or ice cream just because I was living a healthy lifestyle. And I'm telling you that you don't have to do that. You don't have to say no. Sometimes, like, it's okay to say that because if you don't want to eat something, 
You don't have to. Sometimes you have to be like, okay, I already had my cheat meal for the week. Sometimes it's okay to say no, but when you've been good the whole week or your friends and family really want to have a dinner with you or something, go and have fun. Go and enjoy that. Don't let the fitness the whole fitness healthy lifestyle take control over your life because then you're just going to be so unhappy and your parents and family will start hating you too. Don't forget about balance. If you can do the 80-20 rule, I promise you, you will see amazing results. And last but not least, results take time. I wanted results to happen just like that. I wanted to lose five pounds in a week. I just wanted to do it now. I wanted to just have it done in like the snap of my fingers, but that's not how it works. It takes time, it takes lots of hard work, lots of dedication, lots of consistency to see results. They will not happen in weeks, sometimes they won't even happen in months. Like you have to really bust your butt to see results. You'll get frustrated, you'll be like, I'm not seeing any results or I only lost two pounds in two weeks which isn't even that bad. And you'll be like, why am I not losing five pounds a week? Or why am I not losing 10 pounds in three weeks? If you have more weight to lose, then you're gonna lose weight easier than someone who doesn't have a lot of fat to lose. Everyone loses fat at different rates, and it all depends on your body physique as well. It takes more than a day to put on fat, and it takes more than a day to lose fat. So keep that in mind. You need to stay patient, stay consistent, and don't give up because Results take longer than weeks. If you can stick to a healthy lifestyle and get your workouts in, eat nutrient-dense meals, stick to my 80-20 rule, then you will see results in a month. You will see even better results in two months. And you'll see amazing results once you stick to it for a full year. Don't get down on yourself because you didn't lose five pounds in a week. Your body can also build muscle and lose fat so it kind of balances out sometimes. Stay consistent and stay positive because you also have to realize that it's a journey and it's not going to happen overnight. Take your time. Stop looking for the quick fixes. Stop looking how to lose 10 pounds in two weeks. Like, it's not going to happen, okay? You need to be realistic with yourself. Set goals for yourself. Not even just, I want to lose 10 pounds. Like, like I said, you need to make other goals that... Can be like I want to tone up my stomach to not have the shirt tight on me anymore or something like that. Don't base everything on the number on the scale because sometimes the number on the scale disappoints you. It's not an overnight process. It takes time. Be patient and stay consistent. Those are my top like seven, eight-ish, nine-ish, I don't really know, I lost count, things that I wish I would have known before I started my fitness journey. I really hope this helps you start your fitness journey, and helps you to prevent yourself from making the same mistakes that I made. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up.